Cancer. This will happen in the next 48 hours for April the 25th through April the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for April the 25th through April the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for April the 25th through April the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for April the 25th through April the 26th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Cancer. Cancer, these are your cards, honey. So, Cancer, you have the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, <clears throat> searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So, Cancer, could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy-duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for cancer. Clarify the hermit for cancer. Clarify the hermit for cancer. It is clarified with the page of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that you guys had this immature, premature communication or you went looking and spying, researching. Clarify the page of swords for Cancer. Clarify the page of swords for Cancer. Clarify the page of swords for Cancer. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Cancer, listen, could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. For cancer, clarify the lovers. For cancer, clarify the lovers. For cancer, it is clarified with the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on the, you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So listen, Cancer, could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now, listen, Cancer, this can be about your coins, and maybe some type of partnership and work and business here, okay? Maybe researching or looking for work or business here, okay? With these coins. However, you can tell me that, you know what? I'm waiting because I have my eye on someone. Maybe you're just waiting to 
play your position, you have this strong twin flame magnetic pull with this person. However, you can tell me that you went looking and spying and you discovered that there's another other lover and you're doing some soul searching, asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Cancer, you have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So listen, Cancer, it could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for cancer. Clarify strength for cancer. Clarify strength for cancer. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So listen, Cancer... Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for cancer. Clarify the devil for cancer. Clarify the devil for cancer. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy, so listen, Cancer, you know, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance, yes? You know, someone could have commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, Cancer, you can tell me that this is concerning some type of legal binding contract, maybe with a partnership with work or business in your coins here, Okay. Maybe you just have to muster the strength and courage to do something, possibly leaving your present employer, employer for a new one. However, you could also tell me that you guys have this commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics going on, but it's ending because it's toxic that someone has another other lover here. Cancer, you have the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that there is a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the night. Oh, flying cards. Clarify the night of wands for Cancer. Clarify the night of wands for Cancer. Clarify the night of wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get through your read. I cannot. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Cancer. Oh my God. Okay. Please clarify the Knight of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Wands. For cancer, it is clarified with justice. 
goodness, could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Cancer, listen, could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for cancer. Clarify justice for cancer. Clarify justice for cancer. It is clarified with judgment. So judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Cancer, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Cancer. Clarify judgment. For cancer, clarified judgment. For cancer, it is clarified with the wheel of fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune. For cancer, clarify the wheel of fortune. For cancer, clarify the wheel of fortune. For cancer, it is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. <clears throat> Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer. It is clarified with the Tower. The Tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Cancer, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed, or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Cancer. Clarify the tower for Cancer. Clarify the tower for Cancer. It is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an ax to grind here. You know, cancer very well could have been a rushing in, going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument over the change of your luck and fortune. Some type of blow up may be happening here, okay? Some type of back and forth, tit for tat, tug of war. Could be dealing with work or business, okay? But cancer, you could also tell me that in this relationship, you guys had some immature, premature communication, some type of rushing in, going off, going hand passionately. And it caused an argument. And in this argument, someone could be threatening to take, to take things to the justice system, maybe for a legal separation or divorce here. 
could also tell me that the reason why someone is threatening to take things to the justice system for a legal separation or divorce is because someone's out being a player, getting cookies somewhere, making it toxic with another other lover. Cancer, you have the five of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So, Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something, yes? Or there was some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, some type of drama here. Clarify the Five of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Wands. This fool. <laughs> Clarify the Five of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Wands for Cancer. It is clarified with strength again. Could be dealing with a Leo, like I said, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for cancer. Clarify strength for cancer. Clarify strength for cancer. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So cancer, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Now you can tell me that you're bothered because you're conflicted within about something, okay? Doing some heavy duty soul searching, really thinking about something here, contemplating, okay? Or you're telling me that you guys had this full blown out drama taking place here, okay? And it just is weakening you, it's stressing you and aggravating you. Cancer, you have the nine of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Cancer, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Clarify the seven of wands. But can't oh, I tell you this read here? Clarify the seven of wands for cancer. Clarify the seven of wands for cancer. Clarify the seven of wands for cancer. It is clarified with the ten of wands. Aries, Leo, or say I'm not the seven of wands, the nine of wands. Okay, ten of wands. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Cancer, listen, you're telling me you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. So, Cancer, listen, I feel like you have your guard up. You know, first of all, you can tell me that you're having to guard yourself, safeguard yourself, concerning your coins. Like I said, this could be a partnership with work or business, but it could also be in the relationship where you just simply don't trust someone. Okay. You could have found that they were out being a player, making it toxic with another other lover here. And the whole situation is burdensome. And I just think you want out actually. I just, I just think you want out. This is a stressful situation. Cancer, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for April the 25th through April the 26th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.